What's up, guys? This is Gabe from SP Speed Innovations, and uh, we're kind of honored to bring this video to you today. Um, this is the beginning of our EFI kits. This is where it all began. So, this started off with a vehicle that a uh, customer bought an LC Engineering a Stage 2 stroker motor, and we did the install and could never get it to run right because of the factory EFI system was outside of its limitations. The power was outside of the factory EFI system's limitations. So, it shouldn't take much to do. So what you're about to see is a video of the very first Haltech install that we did. Some of the things you'll see in the wiring is a little bit different. We, I, I kind of like overthought everything, so I made it a little more complicated than what it needed to be. But after about two, three weeks of development and trying, testing, 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 we found that it actually needed to be a little bit simpler. But all these products you see today, all the harnesses that we build, everything started from what you're about to see in this video. So. Uh, before we continue, don't forget to do all that stalker stuff, like, subscribe, um, ring that bell, do all that cool stuff. We really do appreciate it. And I really want to thank you personally with all my heart. I want to thank all my customers over the years that's helped us grow to the company that we are today. And I really want to try to do our best to keep growing into the business we need to be tomorrow. Let's move forward and catch the rest of this video. Thanks, guys. So looking at it, you can see there's a whole lot of wiring going on. So we definitely did overthink it. The more I look at the, these pictures and videos, the more it's kind of nostalgic. Well, we did a lot of changes. So what you see is the Sprint 500, as we leave for the Elite Series ECU. We removed the intake manifold and start wiring directly into the injectors because we thought that's what we needed. What we learned afterwards is we really didn't have to do that. So that right there is the sub harness, and it is a little more complicated. That's the very first ECU engine mounting plate there's a sprint 500 and the very first wb1 wideband module there so it's kind of neat to see this stuff um looking back at all the stuff we've done um, everything's a little easier now a little simpler and a little more a lot more refined but let's get right to the video and let's take a look at how listen to how the engine sounds let's get right to it as promised I'll take powered 22R. Here is our first kit from SP Speed Innovations. This is a VE table for the 22R powered by a Haltech Sprint 500. Good. Running good. Here we go. This is a EFI kit, Haltech powered 22RE fuel injection conversion kit made by SP Speed Innovations. As you can see, the distributor has been altered. No cold start injector. And can't see it. There we go. No ECU temp sender. There's one on top instead. Don't laugh at the air cleaner. It's something handling around the shop. There's my small sub harness going out the rear. Not this stuff here.
system works really well almost flawless flawless as you can get to stand alone SNP.com for all of your high performance needs. Well, wow, it's kind of crazy. Looking back at that video uh, that John was kind of cutting up and doing the editing. There's a lot of pictures and videos I haven't seen in a very long time. And looking at how much the harnesses have changed over that time, you can see everything's just a lot more simpler now. You know, this is sub harness that plugs into our adapter harness. And man, I mean, we spent a lot of time creating something from nothing. And we did this with not much experience with trying to build something from scratch. We've done some stuff like this in the past, but nothing to this level. So that was definitely a blast from the past. But um, yeah, it was pretty awesome. It's, it's cool to see where we came from and where, what we've evolved to. And it's, it's, it is exciting to see how far we can go in the future. So anyway, um, yeah. Thank you guys for following us. Uh, following us. Thank you for watching the video. And uh, please don't forget to do all that stalker stuff, ring the bell, you know, subscribe, like, follow, all that cool stuff. And, and uh, yeah, stay tuned. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.